what's up what's going on everybody definitely make sure you subscribe turn on your post notifications and today we're talking about Aaliyah and Paula on catfish okay so Cammy and Neve they're I mean Cammy and yeah Cammy and Neve they're back at the headquarters well I guess this is like the new headquarters for them now so they reunited and it feels so good <laughs> so yeah no more working from home um, so Aaliyah, she's the girl that we're talking about. She developed feelings for another young lady. Her name is Paula. So Paula, she's a model. She's pretty, travels a lot for work. So it just makes sense that they haven't gotten a chance to like FaceTime or anything like that. This is the first girl that Aaliyah has ever been like interested in like that. Well, she said when they spoke to her, she said she's kind of probably been this way, but she just never really acknowledged it before. And whenever, um, what you call it, Paula gets to LA, she never hits her up. And then like a year ago, she just like totally disappeared, like ghosted her for a minute. So it's just weird because it's like something that she kind of does sometimes. She goes away, then comes back. And yeah, so... Um, but this time, I guess it was a little bit longer than she usually does. Like, you know, sometimes people need a mental break. Like, they'll get off of Instagram or whatever for a couple months, a couple weeks, whatever. Like, just so they can just kind of clear their mind and not be so, like, stuck on the cyber world. So, someone recently hit her up claiming to be Paula. So, it's like, I think she said it's been, like, a whole year. So, it's like... All right, now something weird is going on. So it took a while for Aaliyah to kind of fall for Paula from what she said. You know, they were talking for some time before she even got attracted to her. But they did speak on the phone, and that's another thing. Like, Paula tends to change her number, too. But um, Aaliyah was like, she kind of feels like maybe she just doesn't want certain people to be connected to her or have her phone number anymore. So that's kind of the reason why she does that. I mean, that, that does like logically make sense. So I get it. If that was the real situation. They do have a mutual friend, um, named Jordan from the internet. And he actually had Paula's new number and gave her the number. I still don't know where the connection is, even after watching the whole movie. I mean, the whole movie, the whole show. But I kind of feel like he probably knows, like, Paula personally, you know? But he was saying how he didn't want to get involved. They did end up hitting him up, but he never really, like, responded or anything. So, um, when they ended up getting... No hits from, like, the picture. You know how you do, like, the photo search. They didn't find anything, which was interesting because they did feel like the fact that she's a model, she's a pretty girl, they would have thought they would have gotten some Google image, you know, clicks or whatever. They would have gotten something, some matches, but nothing came up. So, um, they end up just going ahead and calling this person directly and it was a name that had came up as Karina. So they asked for Karina. And the girl seemed like she was interested. She's like, hello, you know, they said Karina. And then, Neve's dumbass, he didn't even know what to say. It kind of reminded me of, like, if you call your boyfriend or not even your boyfriend, like somebody that you like or something. And you're like, like, damn, you didn't think they were going to pick up. So you're, like, super unprepared. It's like hang up and at that moment you really hope that you had used caller call blocking because if not they might just call your ass back so that was kind of the situation with that um so then they ended up calling her back and told her like oh we're from the show catfish boom girl hung up <laughs> end of conversation so then a woman hits them up saying um that she she like knows Paula, Paula or whatever. So it was interesting because they got her on on the Zoom and her it actually was Paula, but it wasn't really Paula. It was actually this girl named Niani. So she said that she knew about like there's so many fake accounts. Um, she's not the person, but the person kind of reached out to her to kind of I guess kind of fix things, which is messed up because. 
you're using my pictures and you want me to fix everything, like, make it make sense. So, Mayani was like, they've been doing this to her since she was 14 years old, so they've been doing it for about seven years. So, every time she sees it, like, sometimes the girl's friends would hit her up and then end up telling her and then she'll go to Instagram get it taken down. So she's had to do this multiple times. She said she's even confronted the person, told her to stop doing it, and things like that. So I'm just like, yo, that's crazy. We find out that her name is also Raven. And yeah, Raven, she's, I guess she's been through a lot of things. So this was like her outlet, her way to kind of escape. But it's like you're take you're bringing collateral damage into it as you're going along, so it's not really, it's not a good idea. You know, it's 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 not smart. Uh huh. So yeah, that was with that, and um, what happened after that? So then the person who now says you know they're the catfish person, Raven, came on camera, and she pretty much like let them know who she was and that everything was really her but she said that she mainly used like the Paula account that was the main one she talked to about 800 people and it's like 800 people how the hell you have so much time to talk to so many people or did you mean throughout the seven years you talked to 800 people because I couldn't fathom talking to 800 people in like a day and like I don't know it's just like that's a lot that's like overload you're getting so many people's problems you have to remember so many people's names situations oh, that's that's a lot that's a, and that's a whole lot of lying like I can never trust or believe anyone like that uh, so she said that she apologizes to um, Aaliyah and she deserves more um, but then Aaliyah was just, she was kind of over it, and she told Neve and Kami, Kami that she wanted to talk to them privately. So she talks to them in a separate breakout room, and she lets them know, like, this is not how it's supposed to go down. Like, this is real scary because I spoke to, um, I spoke to Paula, and Paula said that she was going to, that we should do this show, and then we would have, like, a great happy ending. So now it just all seems very deceptive, not just on Raven's part, because Raven manipulated her and pretended to be Neani, who's actually Paula. <laughs> but it's also looking bad for Aaliyah because she was willing to lie to the Catfish crew in order to be on this show to get her happy ending. I mean, the only good thing about it with Aaliyah is that she was kind of ignorant in the situation. She didn't really know what was really going on. She thought she was doing what most people do. Like, you're trying to come on a show and get, you know, what you're supposed to get. You're supposed to either connect or find a catfish. And she actually thought she was going to find a real person. But, unfortunately, that's not the way it went down for her. So, um, once that happened, you know, of course... Neve and Kami, they were upset about it because they're like, you know, you guys both play us. And now they wanted to talk to Raven and see, you know, kind of confront her. So when they confronted her, well, first it was, um, first it was Aaliyah who confronted her and told her, you know, that she let them know everything and, you know, that's messed up that she did this and all that stuff. And Raven, she claims that she wanted to come on the show in order to come clean because she felt like this was like the best way. She wanted to do it on like a live, but it got shut down because she wanted to see if she could reach out to Neani and just kind of let everybody know. And he was like, he was a fall of her head. He was like, nah, that's, that's unacceptable. He wasn't going to do anything because you had ample time. You've had seven years to go ahead and do that if you really wanted to do that. Like, don't, don't try to don't play us like you know you already you already done enough you already manipulated the situation like we don't believe anything that you say she tried to play victim and say that she was being attacked by him and she says that it's actually like an addiction for her 
and she did go ahead once again and acknowledge her wrongdoings and she said that she really did have a genuine connection with Aaliyah. To be honest, Aaliyah, she was just really done. She didn't really want anything to do with this girl going forward because she's like, yo, you got me out here looking stupid on TV. Like, this is not what I do. This was not what I expected. Otherwise, I wouldn't have did this. You know, and, and I agree with her. Like, she came thinking that she was going to just, you know, have this amazing, like, yes, you know, we're in love moment. And it, it really was a catfish. Like, <laughs> Yo, she played her well. She played the game well. If it was a game of chess, she would have, what is it, checkmate? <laughs> but um, Raven claimed that she was done with the big accounts when they asked her, was she done with all this? And I felt like she said big accounts. Like, is that real? Like, do you mean the fake accounts? Like, what are you talking about? But then when they showed, like, the where are they now type of thing, like, you know, what happened to them, it said that she did close the accounts and she's trying to, I guess, change or whatever. And Aaliyah, to be honest, she's just happy that she's done dealing with this whole situation and it's all cleared up now. So at least that part is good. So yeah, y'all, that's pretty much the episode. Okay, Aaliyah and Pola. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Let me know what you thought down.